If your strawberry plants aren't bursting through the mulch after that long, hard winter, they soon will be. And if you're just joining the Strawberry Jamboree by purchasing your first starter plants, well, hello to you too. Fairly soon, there's going to be strawberries everywhere. But only if we feed them right. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show we're in two minutes or less. We're strawberry obsessed. And today's episode is all about what to feed our strawberry plants. Big or small, what do we need to give these guys to get the most out of them? Time short as it always is, so let's dive in. As mentioned in previous videos, strawberries are an ultra low maintenance crop that's only fed max twice a year. Once after the last berry has been picked in the late summer, early fall, and then again right now in the early spring, but well before flowers or any fruits. I've seen it too many times to count, but feeding strawberries too close to fruiting can affect the berry size, the numbers, the taste, everything. So really, it's best to avoid it. Great, but what do we feed with? Because all those choices out there are ridiculously staggering. Well, for strawberries, as is the case with a lot of crops out there, it's all about balance. Right away, that points to your NPK, or your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium ratio. You'll find this on the front label of every commercial and retail fertilizer out there, represented as three numbers. For strawberries, it really should be balanced, meaning all three numbers are roughly the same. Now, the majority of fertilizers out there skew higher in the first number, which is nitrogen, and this is the most important macronutrient, no doubt. But high nitrogen is not what we want to be fertilizing our strawberries with, especially for the second feeding. In fact, if any of the numbers is to skew higher, make it the last one, potassium. This plant macro is directly responsible for fruit growth, development, and size. No question nitrogen is going to get you big healthy foliage. And for some crops, that's great. But I can't remember the last time I've chowed down on a bunch of strawberry leaves. Indeed. Hey, one last thing before we go here. Try to also get in some trace minerals, compounds, and elements into your soil. Things like boron, chloride, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, nickel, and zinc. These and other micronutrients are super important for the strawberry plant's higher functions. But I firmly believe they also refine and make our strawberries pop with extra flavor. Know what else pops with extra flavor? The next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.